If you work with audio files, video files, or PDFs, or any other files for that matter on the Mac, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and it's another one of those pretty broad introductions really because uh, yeah, if you're a Mac user then uh, this is really a great little uh, app that I'm going to tell you about today. And uh, without further ado, it is an app called uh, Permute and uh, I'll tell you how you can get it. It comes as part of the setup bundle which is part of a theme that I'm doing this week because uh, I think it really is a great uh, way to get access to lots of fantastic little apps. Uh, so this one that I'm talking about today though is for specifically converting... Uh, files so converting movie files from one type to another or audio files from one type to another or maybe you want to strip out the different tracks of a, a, a movie file to separate the audio or things like that uh, or maybe manipulate pdfs and things like that there is lots and lots of things that you can do with it and uh, i did a video about another application called downy that allows you to download video from the internet and uh, i'll leave a link to that video up in the top corner and also down in the description as well but that is actually by the same developer as uh, makes this app. So if you remember that video, if you did watch that video, you remember how very complex the user interface was. And I'm being sarcastic there. Well, this one is very similar. If I show you what it looks like, there you go. That is the user interface for the app. And all you do is you simply grab a video file or an audio file and you drag it on. So in fact, here is the video file from the video that I did yesterday about Downy. So if I just simply drop that onto there, uh, there we go, it's appeared there. And all I can do in here, uh, all I need to do rather, is I can just click on here and choose any other audio, uh, video format. And you can see I can uh, change it to a different video format or I could also just extract the audio from it or even make it an iPhone ringtone out of it. Uh, so that is uh, how you do that and then you simply uh, click the little play button to start and it will start the conversion. I won't do it now while I'm in the middle of recording because uh, I don't want it to suddenly start making this conversion while I'm trying to do all of this. But you do have other options in here so you can actually crop the video. So if you wanted to uh, change the size of it, maybe make it more suitable for, uh, there we go, oh that's a bit of a, bit of a large picture on the screen, sorry about that. <laughs> but you can, uh, as I say, crop the uh, size of the picture, uh, scrub forward to a different point in it uh, and then you can change the crop the height so instead of 1920 by 1080 maybe we might want it a square and then you can move this over so you just can just crop out that middle bit so for example if you wanted to take one of your videos and just quickly and easily crop it to use it for uh, Instagram or something like that then this would be a way to uh, to do that uh, and then there are some presets that you can set for this as well. Uh, but one other thing that you can do on here is uh, there is some slightly more advanced features. So uh, as with uh, was the case with Downy, it looks very simple on, as an interface, but if you really want to dig into it, there are some, as I say, some advanced features. So what I'll do is I'll go into the preferences and give you a little idea of what those are. Just come out of that for a moment. Uh, so in the uh, general settings, this is all pretty basic, really. Um, the uh, transparency, so there is a slight transparency on it. Uh, so you can change that then also uh, change some default formats so NTSC or PEL uh, and then also what to do when the uh, processing finishes either play a sound quick permute uh, bounce icon in the dock or automatically clear the list so this list in here you can have them all disappear once they've converted uh, again these are all pretty much personal preference really it's just up to you how you want to have them uh, automatically detect external subtitles and you can change the encoding of that to the type of text it is uh, I'm guessing most people can pretty much leave those things as they are. Uh, you've got another option as well to add them to an iTunes library or Apple Music library or whatever it happens to be and even put them into a specific playlist if you want. So that is how you would do that. Uh, and then you've got the thing here if you want to clear your history. Uh, and then there's some presets in here. I won't go through all of these because these are basically, uh, if you remember where I could choose the type of video. So we've got all these different types of video output here and the audio output. Well, here for each one of those in that list, you have the options in here to go through and just uh, tweak the settings. As I say, most people, I'm guessing, can pretty much leave these as they are. But you can just go in through each one and just have a look at the, the video quality. Uh, whether to use hardware acceleration in order to uh, improve the uh, performance of the uh, conversion and the speed of the conversion, I suppose, uh, and so on and so on and so on. I'll leave you to look through all of those because, as I say, for most people, uh, they can pretty much leave those as they are, I would guess. 
back into the presets and I'll leave this workshops just for a moment uh, but we've also got some uh, different uh, groups so the way that you group the uh, different uh, conversions things like that you can change those in there personally I don't uh, bother with that if I just come back out uh, some more advanced uh, features Again, I don't want to get bogged down in these, but they're just simple things like the uh, subfolder hierarchy and the directory. So this is to do with how it's actually going to save these files once it saves them to your disk. Again, most people can leave these as they are. Do we want to move the original file to the trash? Well, I don't want to do that because usually I'm dragging something from my hard drive uh, to this to do a conversion to use somewhere else. So I do definitely want to keep the original. Uh, I haven't actually changed any of these settings, by the way, just so that you know, this is all the default settings. Uh, we've also got automatically start conversions from external sources so you can actually have it so that um, uh, if you have an external uh, source such as Downey or something like that then it will start converting automatically so that is on because if you have Downey that other app that I talked about uh, then these two work quite well together so that's why you would have that on uh, and so on but uh, again uh, these are all pretty just standard procedures really uh, standard uh, settings that we uh, don't need to uh, change and the debug is just for obviously if you have any issues but this other area here is one that I wanted to focus a little bit on this is an area called workshop and this is where you can add some extra functionality that isn't included as a sort of simple drag and drop into the main interface so this is really for audio and video um, but if you come over to this workshop we have actually got some other functions that you can add in and I'll tell you how to access these a little bit later uh, but here we can do all of this other stuff so for example uh, it's worth running through these actually one by one just because some of these I think you're going to think that is really useful <laughs> so uh, first of all we've got if I just uh, activate my uh, pro mouse for a moment uh, apply pdf filter so this applies a filter to a pdf file including size reduction so if you've ever wanted to sort of batch reduce pdf files or a single pdf file to make it smaller uh, then you can do that with this uh, there are other ways of doing it as well but this just has got this simple drag and drop interface which I do quite like uh, color replacement so I can replace a certain color in a video with another color so if you've got some, a certain color correction that you need to do you can do that with this uh, Q and EDL cutter I'll be perfectly honest I'm not entirely sure what that is <laughs> but I don't use it but maybe it means something to you but it doesn't to me so I've got to move swiftly on <laughs> and act like I know what I'm talking about but I'm not sure what an EDL cutter is I'll have to go and research that one a little bit, little bit <laughs> a little bit more I can't even speak now <laughs> uh, and then there's a few others in there that similarly I uh, don't really use uh, for IP cameras things like that mp4 web optimization it's not something that I've ever encountered so uh, it's something that I haven't uh, realized that I need yet so but that's something to do with allowing uh, mp4 files uh, to be able to be played uh, from the web when they're only partially downloaded so again not something I've run into however uh, metadata editor I can talk about that that's uh, quite useful being able to edit edit the metadata of mp4s and so on and mp3 files quite easily and add sort of batch uh, editing to it uh, multi preset so uh, you saw where I could convert a file into you know a cropped file for Instagram or something like that well this now allows you to do uh, batch editing where you drop one file and then it will convert it into multiple different files so that is quite useful uh, PDF merge this is one of those things that's like really simple and you wouldn't necessarily get the app for just that but when it's built in it is very useful so that basically allows you to drop uh, multiple PDFs into the uh, the interface and then it will just merge them all together into one single PDF which is quite useful another one is to uh, PDF to images so if you've ever wanted a, a particular image or a page as an image out of a PDF this simply uh, splits the PDF into a series of images one for each page uh, next one text encoding conversion so converts files from one encoding to another and this is uh, quite handy because it is specifically related to uh, things like closed captions for YouTube uh, so you can convert them from SRT files which is the standard captioning file format into uh, text and so on 
Next one, uh, text to speech. I've got it highlighted here as active. And by the way, I should just point out that any of these that you want, you simply put a little check next to them. And I'll show you the interface for using them afterwards. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually tried this one, but this converts text files into a speech file. So uh, I need to just play around with that one. But I've just noticed that today and I've just activated it. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. <laughs> and the next one is track export. So this allows exporting of uh, individual uh, tracks of a video file. So for example, if you wanted to extract the audio maybe there's multiple different tracks in there or just uh, uh, whatever the tracks may be then you can export those from uh, from there now in terms of using these sort of extra functions uh, that is done from if I just move this uh, preferences window out of the way uh, what you'll see is uh, where we've got the main window here then just down at the bottom we've also got this other thing which says permute workshop and all of those things that I just showed you are classed as uh, sort of workshop modules so if I click on that then that brings up Put it on another screen it brings up this and it's basically the same sort of interface the same simple uh drag and drop and all you do is you just drag your files on there so this was uh the pdf filter so you can see you can change to black and white uh reduce the file size uh reduce the uh, the brightness, the darkness and so on uh and then this one was for the color replacement of the uh, video uh, so you can, uh, for example, change a uh, green to a uh, target color. You could change that to a transparency. So if you wanted to change a green screen to a transparency, you can uh, just do that by dragging and dropping the file in here for a video. So that's quite powerful. Uh, just let that sink in for a moment. <laughs> if you ever tried to get rid of a green screen uh, without any software, then... Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I create uh, overlays in Keynote for video, but it's very difficult to get a green screen uh, removed from the middle of a Keynote uh, animation to be used as a video, but this can just do it. So that's quite handy. Uh, metadata editor, uh, basically all of those things that we've just looked at in the workshop. So that is uh, as simple as it gets. It's just drag and drop and it performs those actions. And so as you can see, uh, it's quite powerful considering what a, a small little application it looks and how uh, you know, <laughs> unassuming it looks from the, uh, the initial screen that loads up when you load up the app. And once again, this is part of my series this week all about great little apps that you can get as part of the SetApp bundle. And SetApp is uh, just $9.99 a month and yet you get access to over 200 different apps. And so if you head over to takeonetech.io slash setapp, then you can get a two-week free trial uh, where you can download this and all of the other apps if you want and try them all out for two weeks and see if you like them and see if combined they're all worth to you more than $9.99 a month. And uh, if you do actually sign up using my link, then you will get an extra free month once you sign up. And I will also get a free month once you sign up as well. So everybody wins out of that. But as I say, it's just such a useful little app and there are plenty more useful apps as part of the setup bundle as well. And so that's what I'm going to be focusing on this week. So if you found that useful, please go ahead and like the uh, video. Leave in, uh, any comments or feedback that you've got. I'd love to hear them. If you're using this app or any other apps that are you know, similar or any of the other set app apps, then uh, do mention them down below as well. And uh, in the meantime, until the next one, I will leave a link to my set app playlist over on the bottom right and another great video on the top right. So until then, have a great day.